A while back, a friend came over to my place for a party. Unfortunately, his phone battery died. So he asked me for a charger. I handed him my 120 watt fast charger, but he hesitated and said, "My phone only supports 20 watts. Won't this 120 watt charger damage it?" That's a pretty common concern among non-techies. So I reassured him, explaining that he didn't need to worry. The charger would only deliver 20 watts to his phone, not more. He was curious, though he asked, "How does a 120 watt charger safely charge my 20 watt phone without causing any damage?" I figured this is a question a lot of people might have. So I decided to make a video and explaining it in detail. So in this video, I'll dive into how USB power delivery works, how smartphone negotiate the right amount of power from a charger. And to make things more interesting, I'll show you how you can decode the power outputs of a PD charger using a custom design module I built. I'll walk you through the schematic of this USB power delivery decoder and demonstrate how it works in real time. As soon as you plug your phone into the charger using USB Type-C cable, the charger and phone start talking to each other. And this is not a normal conversation but a kind of a handshake. This initial communication is done using a data line within the USB cable to exchange information about the power requirements and capabilities. The charger sends a message to the smartphone detailing the power it can deliver. This includes various power profiles like 5V, 9V, 12V and 20V and the available current at each voltage. Uh, the smartphone then responds with its power needs usually depending on its battery level, supported charging speed and the available charger's capabilities. The phone might request 5V for standard charging or higher voltages like 9V or 12V for fast charging. The charger only provides the requested amount of power. After negotiation, the charger adjusts its output voltage and current to match the smartphone's request. This ensures that the charger delivers the optimal amount of power without overloading or damaging the phone or battery. The power delivery system ensures that the charging is efficient and controlled, minimizing the heat generation and prolonging battery life. This flexibility in power delivery helps to maintain a steady and safe charging process. When the battery is nearly full, the phone reduces the power draw to prevent overcharging, protecting the battery from damage. The power delivery protocol ensures smooth transitioning between charging stages, from fast charging to trickle the charging as the battery nears 100%. Uh, there are some phones which are not able to communicate, for example our old phones. Then in that case, charger provides a standard output voltage that is 5V. Uh, this is the story of a smartphone charging. Now if you want to use this PD charger in some other appliances as power supply, as these chargers are able to provide maximum 20V. So we can use these chargers for 20V rated appliances. But when I test, it only gives 5V output supply. Uh, this is because if charger won't able to communicate with connected device, uh, then it will never give output voltage higher than 5V, as this 5V is standard output voltage. So to solve this problem, I have designed this module. This module will able to communicate with charger and you can get your desired output voltage from the charger. Uh, during the video, I will show you how can you decode different output voltage supply from the charger. But first, let me explain the schematic of this module. This schematic starts with the USB-C connector, which connects to the USB power delivery source. Pins A4, A9, B4, B8 carries the voltage from the USB PD source. CC1, CC2, that is pin A5, B5 are configuration channel pins which are used for negotiating the power levels. DP and DM are data pins typically used for USB communication but may not play a role in this basic power negotiation. Uh, this is CS224KIC which is a main component in this module and is responsible for negotiating the power delivery from the USB-C source. It communicates through the CC1 and CC2 lines to configure the power delivery. VDD1, CFG1, CFG2, CFG3. These pins are used to configure the required voltage from the USB PD source. Depending on the value supplied on these configuration pins, the circuit can request different voltage levels from the USB C PD source. This PG pin, uh, which means power good, this pin provides a signal when the correct voltage is negotiated and the USB source is ready to supply power. And these adjusters help in setting up the negotiation of power by providing necessary pull up or pull down configuration on the lines. Uh, this C1 is a decoupling capacitor which is used to stabilize the voltage supply and filter out the noise from the power supply. Uh, this is the voltage selection switch which we use to select the desired output voltage. This LED is a power good indicator which lights up when the correct power has been negotiated and supplied. This is a screw terminal connector from which we will get negotiated voltage and easily we can use it to any external load. So that's all the explanation of this schematic. After finalizing the schematic, I designed the custom PCB for it. And after designing the PCB, I gave its order to JLC PCB for PCB manufacturing. JLC PCB is a leading PCB manufacturing company in China. JLC PCB provides high quality and reliable PCB in a very affordable price. 
and ordering process of PCB from JLC PCB is very easy. Just you need to upload the Gerber file of your PCB, select the quantity and select the color masking. And after that click on save to cart to complete your order. And here if you select the fastest shipping method, you will get your PCB delivered to your desired location within a week. After 5 days, I got my PCB in a very good packaging. As usual, the quality of PCB is very premium and PCB looks pretty professional and this purple color PCB masking looks very beautiful. And apart from this, JLC PCB also provide PCB assembly services, 3D printing services and also they started multicolor silk screen PCB manufacturing services as well. So if you have any PCB project, do try out JLC PCB for your next projects. All the important links are available in the description. Let's test this PD decoder module. If you look at the back side of the module, you will get the switch configuration for different voltage selection options like 5V, 9V, 12V, 15V and 20V. You can select any of the voltage among these options. Here I have my fast charger which is 120V. If you look output voltage of it, it gives 5V, 9V, 11V, 17V and maximum 20V as output voltage. Uh, now connect the PD decoder module to the charger using Type-C cable. It will give 5 volt standard output voltage when button 1 is off. So let's check the voltage. As you can see the output voltage is 5 volt. Uh, now let's test another output voltage. Uh, here if all button is on then it will give 9 volt. So let's turn on all the buttons. As you can see the output voltage is nearly 9 volts. So charger is now delivering 9 volt instead of 5 volt. Here if you turn on the first button and second button and turn off the third button then it will set the voltage at 12 volts. So let's check it. Uh, here as you can see the LED is not glowing this means charger is not able to deliver 12 volts. As we seen earlier in output voltage of the charger this charger gives 11 volt not 12 volts. That's why module is not getting the desired 12 volt. If we check the output voltage, it is previous 9 volt. Uh, let's change the button for another voltage selection. Here if you turn off the second and third button and turn on the first button, then the voltage selection is 15 volt. So let's check it. As you can see, the output voltage is now 15 volts. Not exactly 15 volts, it's nearly 15 volts, uh, which is okay. Here if you turn on the first and third button and turn off the second button, then it will give 20 volts output voltage. So let's check it. Here as you can see the output voltage is nearly 20 volts. That means now the PD charges is delivering 20 volt output voltage. So in this way you can select different output voltage as per your need. This PD decoder module has a screw terminal connector for output voltage. So you can use it to power up the appliances which is rated 9 volt, 15 volt or 20 volt using your smartphone fast charger. And if you want to purchase this module, you can get it from my website that is technolabelectronics.com. Link is available in the description. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye bye. Have a nice day.